Some famous people just got lucky, but some worked super hard for years to be the absolute best at what they did. In this video, we pay tribute to nine celebrities we remember for being truly great. I'm Linnea Crowther with Legacy.com, the website where you can find any obituary or publish one for someone you care about. Dancer, actor, and choreographer Gregory Hines was born this week in 1946. He died in 2003 of liver cancer at the age of 57. Hines is remembered as one of the greatest tap dancers of the century. He starred on Broadway and in such films as The Cotton Club, White Nights, and Running Scared. An entire generation of young dancers were shaped by studying his incredible footwork. Hall of Fame NASCAR driver Dale Earnhardt died this week in 2001 at the age of 49. He was killed in a three-car crash in the final lap of the Daytona 500. Earnhardt's aggressive style earned him the nickname The Intimidator, making him one of the most feared and successful drivers in NASCAR history. In his 26-year career, he won 76 Winston Cup races and 24 exhibition events. Actress and singer Ethel Merman died this week in 1984 after a bout with brain cancer. She was known as the first lady of the musical comedy stage, thanks to her powerful voice and vivacious personality. Merman is remembered for her roles in films such as Anything Goes and It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. She introduced the public to songs like I Got Rhythm, Everything's Coming Up Roses, and There's No Business Like Show Business. Songwriter Otis Blackwell was born this week in 1931. Music lovers might not know his face, but everyone knows his songs. Don't Be Cruel, All Shook Up, Return to Sender, Great Balls of Fire, and a thousand others. Decades after Elvis Presley and Jerry Lee Lewis became superstars singing his tunes, Blackwell finally got his due, being honored in 1991 by the Songwriters Hall of Fame. He died of a heart attack in 2002. Cartoonist Charles Schultz, creator of the long-running comic strip Peanuts, died 23 years ago this week at 77. Schultz's characters, Charlie Brown, Snoopy, Linus, and others, have become some of the most recognizable in modern history. Over the course of his life, Schultz drew over 17,000 comic strips. Bill Watterson, creator of Calvin and Hobbes, paid tribute by saying, In countless ways, Schultz blazed the wide trail that most every cartoonist since has tried to follow. Singer and composer Leslie Gore died this week in 2015 of lung cancer. She sang some of the most memorable pop songs of the 1960s, like It's My Party, Judy's Turn to Cry, and You Don't Own Me, all recorded before she was 18. Gore's songs of teenage sorrow are remembered for speaking to a generation of young women. After her pop star career, Gore went on to become an Academy Award-nominated composer. Singer and pianist Nat King Cole died 58 years ago this week of lung cancer at the age of 45. He spent his entire adult life making incredible jazz and pop music that would live on for years into the future. He is remembered for songs such as Unforgettable, Stardust, For Sentimental Reasons, and The Christmas Song. In the decades after his death, his daughter, singer Natalie Cole, carried on his legacy. Country music singer and songwriter Waylon Jennings died 21 years ago from diabetes-related complications. He would have turned 83 this week. Jennings is remembered as one of the great pioneers of the outlaw country movement, along with artists like Willie Nelson, David Allen Coe, and Chris Christopherson. Jazz musician Thelonious Monk died this week in 1982 at the age of 64. He is recognized as one of the most influential jazz pianists of all time. Monk is remembered for his iconic sense of fashion and his percussive, angular playing style. His contributions to the jazz canon include Round Midnight, Straight No Chaser, and Blue Monk. 
This week also marks several other notable anniversaries. Actress Florence Henderson was born in February 1934. She would have turned 89 this week. She is remembered for her starring role as Carol Brady in The Brady Bunch, the highlight of an acting career that spanned six decades. Henderson's performance as the matriarch of a blended household helped reshape how Americans saw the nuclear family. Singer, actor, and politician Sonny Bono was born this week in 1935. As one half of the singing duo Sonny and Cher, Bono is remembered for songs like I Got You Babe and The Beat Goes On. After a series of successful variety shows in the 70s, Bono went into politics where he served as mayor of Palm Springs and in the U.S. House of Representatives. Anna May Hayes was born this week in 1920. She was the first woman general in the U.S. Armed Forces. Hayes served in the Army Nurse Corps during both World War II and the Korean War and was promoted to Brigadier General in 1970 by President Richard Nixon. Hayes is remembered for helping change the military's treatment of enlisted women. She died in 2018 at the age of 97. Actress and 1959's Miss America, Mary Ann Mobley, was born this week in 1937. She died of breast cancer at the age of 77. Mobley is remembered for roles in films such as Girl Happy and Harem Scarum, where she starred alongside Elvis Presley. She also appeared in shows like Perry Mason, Different Strokes, and Falcon Crest. Filmmaker John Hughes was born this week in 1950. He died in 2009 of a heart attack at the age of 59. Hughes is remembered for a series of teen comedy films that helped define Generation X pop culture. They include The Breakfast Club, Sixteen Candles, Pretty in Pink, and Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Comedian Chris Farley was born this week in 1964. He died in 1997 of a drug overdose at the age of 33. Farley, a longtime Saturday Night Live performer, is remembered for his larger-than-life personality and energetic physical comedy. Actress Lois Maxwell was born this week in 1927. She would have been 96. She is remembered for her role as Miss Moneypenny in the James Bond series of films, a role she played 14 times between 1962 and 1985. Actor Cesar Romero was born this week in 1907. He began a career as an actor after serving in the Coast Guard during World War II. After appearances in films such as Ocean's Eleven and The Little Princess, Romero is best remembered for his role as the Joker in the 1966 Batman television series. Poet and scholar Audre Lorde was born this week in 1934. Lord is remembered as one of the pioneers of the black arts movement of the 1960s and 70s. She wrote powerful poems, essays, and memoirs about life as a woman, as a black American, and as a breast cancer patient. Actor Jack Palance was born this week in 1919. He died in 2006 at 87. Palance is remembered for playing tough guys and villains in films such as Shane, Tango and Cash, and Batman. He won an Academy Award for his role in 1991's City Slickers. Model and actress Margot Hemingway died this week in 1996 at the age of 42. Hemingway was one of the first modern supermodels, appearing on the cover of dozens of magazines before moving on to a career in Hollywood. Longtime game show host Bill Cullen was born this week in 1920. He died of lung cancer in 1990 at the age of 70. Cullen is remembered as the host or panelist of Name That Tune, I've Got a Secret, To Tell the Truth, and The Joker's Wild, among others. Actor McLean Stevenson died of a heart attack this week in 1996. He was 68. Stevenson is remembered for his role as Lieutenant Colonel Henry Blake from the television series M.A.S.H. Actress and singer Catherine Grayson died 13 years ago this week at 88. A soprano with a powerful voice, Grayson is remembered for her roles in the films Anchors Away, Showboat, and Kiss Me Kate. Singer-songwriter Jean Pitney was born this week in 1940. 
Pitney is remembered as the singer or songwriter of 16 top 40 hits in the United States, including The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance and Ricky Nelson's Hello Mary Lou. Artist Keith Haring died this week in 1990 after a struggle with AIDS. He was 31. Herring is remembered for his colorful pop art style, which often consisted of chalk outline figures in a variety of poses and colors. Every Friday, our channel publishes a news video paying tribute to the most recent celebrities and other public figures whose deaths have made headlines. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. At Legacy.com, any family can publish an obituary in honor of a loved one's memory, online and in local newspapers everywhere. Just visit Legacy.com and select your local community. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths.